it's just such a cool, I've got to really love this deck. It's become such a cool deck in my collection. Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to another 10 Talk Tuesday. So I want to share with you my three favorite dark decks that I have in my collection. Now I have a couple of dark decks. I'm, I was hugely into dark decks at one stage. Um, it was basically the only kind of um, tarot deck I would, I would collect. But I've, I've since moved kind of away from that and only use them very, um, very seldom in a lot of maybe shadow work that I do or perhaps um, reading for myself. Okay, I don't use dark decks anymore for clients. I find that they are sometimes far too direct and far too heavy. And also clients get a little bit scared of the imagery. Now, my three favorite, favorite dark decks in my collection. And I'm going to share these with you. The first one, I don't have the box anymore, but I've put it into this black bag. This deep, dark, black, mysterious bag. Okay, it's not really. Um, it's just a funny little black bag that I got for like a couple of cents. Okay. I think it's called Voil, all right, because I don't know where the box of this is. Now, this is a deck called the Terra del Necronomicon, but it is not, I don't think it's actually called that, I think it's called something else. I have done a, a review on this deck, so you can maybe go and look for this, okay. Um, this deck is really cool. Um, I have edged mine in black, as you can see, really cool. That's what the back looks like, there, all right. And this deck is, um, it is inspired by H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's Necronomicon. Now, I love the artwork. The artwork in this is very detailed. Okay. It's very detailed. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that. It's very detailed. Even the back of the card, if you have a good look in there, you can see the, the sort of monsters creeping up behind this guy. Now, it is a, it is a fully illustrated deck. Here's the Hangman. <laughs> That's pretty dark. That is pretty dark. I don't think I've got a darker card in my collection than that one. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool deck to use because it's very blunt. It is one of those incredibly blunt decks. And that is one of the main reasons I got this deck is because it is a hit you on the head hammer-like deck. It's one of those decks that never get anything wrong. Um, it just beats the crap out of you when you are actually trying to do readings. That's why I love this particular deck to do uh, shadow work with. It is a very, very um, kind of intense uh, experience using this to do shadow work. And I have another deck that I'm going to show you by Anne Stokes, which is also a Necronomicon kind of inspired deck. Uh, but this to me is a far more potent um, deck than the other one I'm going to show you. This is far more whack you on the head. Ah, uh, these are these are like serious serious answers to serious questions. Okay, now let's stick with the whole Necronomicon thing, and I'm going to show you another really cool deck. It's illustrated by Anne Stokes and it's by Donald Tyson, and it's actually called the Necronomicon Tarot. Now, if you are an H.P. Lovecraft fan, you will know that H.P. Lovecraft was a very um, popular author, he still is a very popular author, and he does a sort of cosmic horror, blah, 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 go and look him up, he's very cool. Um, now, these are great cards, card quality is a bit crap, but I also did these in black. In fact, all my card, all my, my decks that I've done, all my dark decks have put like, I've done like black borders on them. Um, the card quality is a bit crap, but I do love the, the Cthulhu on the back, okay. The, the, I like this deck, it's pretty cool, but I want to just show you this, okay. The artwork is actually, it's, it's really bad. Um, have a look at this, okay. I'm going to try and get it as close as I can. Can you see that? Okay, it looks like really, really bad cartoons. But when I got this deck, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, this is so disappointing. You know, um, it's, it's so disappointing. Anyway, so I put it away and it, it sat on the shelf for about two years. And then one day I was cleaning up my sort of sorting stuff out and I got this thing out and I was looking at it and I was like, you know what, this, is, this has got like a charm of its own, you know. And here's a dude like drinking wine and, you know, shit like that. And I was like, oh, wow, this, this could actually be quite usable. Anyway, so I got it out and I was playing around with it, just like messing about and 
I kept it out and I, um, this is the emperor card, and I, I kept it out and I was like, okay, you know what, playing around with friends and that, and I got really into this deck, and it is now like one of my favorite, favorite dark decks. Here's the empress, this is the empress, not even the devil card, that's the empress, okay? Um, it's just such a cool, I've got to really love this deck, it's become such a cool deck in my collection. And I now actually use it quite a lot when I'm doing readings for myself. Or actually when I've got some really strange friends. And when my sort of gothic weirdy friends come around, um, we, we tend to use these, these cards um, as playing cards, which, are, which is quite cool. Because you actually can do that, as you know. Um, it's got some whacked out imagery. And I've got to really, really like this. I've, I've got to really like this deck. Um, so yes, I now use my Necronomicon deck. Oh, I can't get it all in there. I use my Necronomicon deck um, as an actual reading deck and more, more as a playing deck than anything else. Like I play around with it, you know, a lot. Okay, the last one I want to share with you is quite a new deck on the market. And it's kind of, a, it's one of the newer decks in my collection. And it's called the, the Z Tarot or the Tarot Z. Now again, I've done a review on this, um, but it comes in this really cool box. It's by La Scarabeo, believe it or not. And it's got this really cool box. You can see what happens as I, as I lift the box, it, it kind of like, ta-da! And then you got like a different picture. Okay, there she's all there. This is very cool. Oh, but yeah, again, it comes with a teeny tiny little useless book. Again, look, I have colored everything in, in black. And this deck, I've actually kept the, the, the front card, the title card, so I should put it. Now this deck is really cool. It's again, it's not a pip deck. It is a fully illustrated deck, but it's got these. It's it's a collage deck, but it's kind of like, wow, it's just it's just so cool. I love this deck. Um, it's all zombies, but it's a lot more serious. Look at the zombie dog in the background. This deck is a lot more serious than um, this one, the zombie tarot. You know this one. Everybody's got this one. This is really fun and fun funky. This one here is way scary this is like way freaking serious shit man um and i love this i love this deck with all my heart it is just really it's really really scary and i use this i do use this look at that i really do use this um this is the strength card like what the fuck so i use this deck a, quite a lot um so for, for one of one of the reasons i love this deck is because of the imagery the imagery is just insane. Um, look at that. It's it's just it's it's the, the the stuff is just totally whacked. You know, this is the two of clubs or two of um, of ones if you want. But this is the back, by the way. This is the back of the card, and I just love this deck because it uh, again it gives me a lot of very very um, straightforward answers. Uh, and again, as I said, I just, I really connect with the imagery on this deck. It's definitely a deck worth getting. And it's a, it's a deck that I know that if you get, you'll, you'll use it. Okay, you will use it. Um, as I say, it is one of my favorites. And it's got a really cool energy about it. In fact, all of these, all three of these decks have got like really good, I know they're dark decks, but they've got like really good energy about them. And I think you can use them not just as do, for dark readings and shadow work and that sort of thing. But I think you can use them for so much more. You can use them as sort of like parlor games. Um, you can use them for kind of meditation purposes. If you want to do a bit of dark meditation, um, you want to explore that side of things. And yeah, I just think it's, I just think, you know, working with dark decks, it's, it's a, you know, it's an acquired taste like scotch and sodomy. Uh, working with dark decks is definitely something that you should think about and um, maybe get into. And maybe you can share with me down below what your favorite, three favorite dark decks are. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot and I'll see you next week for some more Ten Talk Tuesday.